Welcome back to Good Day State Line. And Monday, September 21st is International Day of Peace, and there's a great way we can all celebrate here in Rockford virtually. Jim and Pam Keeling here to tell us all about it. Good morning. Good morning. Michelle. Thank you guys for coming in today. We were just Pleasure. talking about how it's kind of a plus that these events get to be virtual this year. So that is a big one. It's coming up soon. Um, Pam, tell me a little bit about this big day. Well, typically on September 21st or close to September 21st, we have seven or 800 fourth and fifth graders at the Peace Plaza. Mm -hmm. But clearly this year, that is not going to happen. So we reached out to the people that participate in, in um, Peace Day mm -hmm. that we have um, storytellers and historical actors and musicians and artists and everyone said we would love to participate in a virtual peace day so that's what that's we've happening. taken on so jim how did you guys get involved in such a big important day this is our 18th year okay, i had a feeling it's been a while yes <laughs> uh, we uh, worked with sunil Puri and uh, helped to build the peace plaza back in 2000 to 2002 and we're real proud of what was accomplished as a park because it celebrates our common aspiration for peace. It's not an anti-war place, but it uh, has to do with looking into yourself as to how you can be a more peaceful person and work with your family and your community and then the world at large. So once we had built the Peace Plaza, or uh, at, at, in its version at that point of time, mm -hmm we uh, realized that it was a place, a thing, but it really didn't have a pulse yet. And so that's when we were introdu introduced to the International Day of Peace. And we said, well, let's have some type of a celebration here. And it, it, it is, it's just evolved over the years. And being that this is such a trying year for literally everyone on the planet, kind of like one of the most important years to celebrate peace. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. And we have a lot of fun events. It's it's all virtual and mm -hmm. it's going to go live tomorrow. Okay. And it'll be up for about a month and it's a we have a website that is very easily accessible. We have five different book readings. We have five different historical presentations, historical actors and storytellers. A couple are nationally known. Wow. We have we also have five different activities. We have music, we have dance, we have art, we have how to build a bird feeder using recycled materials for your backyard. So it's something for everyone. So is this a website that just all of those pieces are available throughout the whole time or is there scheduled like live streaming events? We, we have not chosen to do streaming. Okay. It's going to be live. There's an introductory uh, a video that kind of walks through the day mm -hmm. or the, the week. There's five over five hours of programming altogether, wow. 22 different videos. And then they have um, also supporting materials for the teachers. Our activities are focused on fourth and fifth graders. However, the content really is very uh, um, flexible towards younger and older uh, adults as well as children. And as Pam said, the storytellers are nationally known. We have these five books, including, mm -hmm. these are our theme books for this year, Mr. Lincoln's Way and Bully, uh, both by the same author. And we have these books that we give to the participating schools. Oh, wow. There are 40 schools, mostly in the Winnebago County, Boone County area, but not exclusively. We have schools participating from Colorado and New Jersey wow. and Wisconsin and California at this point uh, as Chicago as well so uh, we're going to reach probably as as you were saying before the you know more like yeah. five to ten thousand students this year rather than 700. That's so we're incredible. Very excited. It is it's really <laughs> incredible. You we're guys excited really, about it. Yeah managed to do so much and you know it's like another great thing is that so many students are at home some are at school but this is something that whether they're at home or school on their couch or at a desk mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. <laughs> wherever mom and dad yeah. let them do school they yep. can participate in this in what you guys have. Yes so teachers can access it in the classroom or they can have parents access it from their homes wherever mm -hmm. the children are in front of a, a computer it's available. That's that's really, really great. 
This wouldn't have been possible without the help from WTVO. That uh, Eric Wilson has been our MC mm-hmm. at Peace Day for a number of years. And when we were exploring this idea, uh, we asked him if he wanted to participate with us. And he said, you know, immediately, yes. And he's just been great. He's done many of the introductions and some of the interviewing. But then uh, I asked uh, Eric if it would be out of line to ask WTVO if they could help with the filming and the in the production. We have a nephew who is a, a professional in film, mm-hmm. and he's done most of the editing. But it's been so great, and so thank you so much for your oh, well, station. We have such a great staff and so many great people who work here so thank you to all of them who should be watching right now i hope <laughs> so we're thanking them and i'm i was going to ask if eric was a cameo in many of the places on your website he i'm is. sure we can see a lot of it. he's introduced a number he's introduced a number of famous historical wow. characters so what i don't even know did we mention what the website was <laughs> uh, well right now okay. they could go to the peace plaza website okay um, if they just Google peaceplaza.com, Perfect. they'll find it and, it, and the link will be available um, then. We are going to be emailing the information out to all of the schools that have registered Wonderful. so that they can start using it on Monday. Um, we also have an email if anyone would like to register and is interested in, in getting information about how they can participate, they could go to connect the number two peace Rockford at gmail. And Perfect. we can get them registered as well. Wonderful. And it's not limited just to schools. Individuals can register for this as well. Homeschooling. There are some homeschooling groups that are uh, signing up. And, uh, Perfect. So we, we want to, this year, uh, we have uh, not really pressed it outside of our community because we wanted to be sure that it worked well. Right. In future years, we hope to be in tandem with a live, in-person Peace Day but then a lot of these materials have good uh, shelf life to for them sure. to be able to be used for a number of years and then add, refreshed and added to. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by and sharing this with us. I cannot wait to get on that website. <laughs> Thanks for letting For us sure. Here. Coming up next, we're talking about an essential oil expert about what we should be adding to our skincare routine as we move into the fall. And then we're naming our next fan of the week and giving you a chance to win some cute masks for your kids. But first... It's birthday time. Today we're sending a big happy birthday to our friend Lori from Bella Luna Bakery. Also this week, one of our other bakery friends is celebrating her birthday with a cookie. That's Liz from Halo Cupcake. Her birthday's the 16th. And on the 17th, a very happy birthday to Elizabeth, who is clearly turning 13 in that picture. Send us your birthday shout-outs at GoodDayStateLine at WTVO.com. We'll be right back.